So what's new at Sea Dog Treasure Island? Treasure Island. Is that our, uh, we're serving breakfast now. And Charlie Brakeiron, our owner, partner, chef, extraordinaire, GM, uh, has some family recipes that are just really incredible. His uh, biscuits and gravy was his grandmother's recipe. Ooh. I didn't know he had this skill set, but we started doing breakfast about six months ago, and people are just falling in love with it. We throw in a breakfast burrito, and he's got a variety of other amazing attractions for food, as well as you get to have a ice pick margarita or ice pick Bloody Mary, and um, what else is better to start your day than you know, looking out at the water and seeing dolphins. We started breakfast six months ago. Um, I've been serving for it the whole time. Uh, switched the menu up, biscuits and gravy and sandwiches. Most of what we're doing, Lobster Benedict is getting a lot of play there too, so it is good. Everyone is loving it. We have biscuits and gravy that are thick and delicious and breakfast burritos. We have breakfast bowls. Um, you can customize anything that you'd like and it's going really well. So we start at 8 o'clock in the morning which is early for the beach, right? So trying to attract all kinds of people that just want to come with their families or business people just to kick off the morning a little differently and we've got enough room for small groups, big groups. So What's new with Treasure Island is that. Also, we now can open up our whole downstairs. So we can have large groups, small groups, and we built a bar in the entryway down there, and it's just spectacular to be able to sit out and get a full open air experience, a lot of fun. What's going on with the brewery is, uh, you know, we continue to grow ice pick. We're distilling locally down in Florida, and we're up in uh, New England, uh, distilling there in New Hampshire. And uh, that brand has just continued to grow. The beer business, on the other hand, is very challenging. You know, we started uh, when we started the business, we had 90 competitors, but today there's over 6,000 breweries in America, wow. which is incredible. So we've been uh, challenged here. But the nice thing is, Pumpkinhead, our annual fall beer, continues to grow and has not uh, declined. And additionally, we've come out with some new beers, American Pale Ale, which actually is doing very well in the UK. And uh, we're excited to say that we continue to grow in Europe and the UK. And we're uh, very excited about some of our other projects. We, we, we did and launched our uh, Sea Dog Seltzers. And we're going to uh, re revamp and keep pushing our seltzers because that whole category has been exploding. We hope to come out with an ice pick RTD ready to drink, canned cocktail. We'll see when, when we launch that. I just recently got back from a trip in Scotland with James Coyle, who's a good friend who's over in the UK. An educational trip, I, I would imagine. It was a full, fully educational. <laughs> yeah, so this is um, wow. the unveiling. This is this the, the first time I've seen th This it. is actually yeah. the first time Fred's seen the product. Yeah. Uh, launched a couple of years ago. Gin is very popular across in the UK. Many people believe that gin is all going to go um, through a big revival across here in the US. Very versatile with tonics and shots and you know have it neat etc it's just so smooth so this is a, a present from Andy Samuel oh, and, awesome. and, and yeah. all the, the team back in shipyards. Great. Yeah so keep having fun keep growing world-class beer and you know enjoy. Because the party never ends. The party never ends. On Dirty, Dirty Water, Water TV. <laughs> Love that Dirty Water. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>